copy and paste and duplicate. In this video, I would like to explore some of the hidden gems in the setup slash options dialog, specifically the edit tab. The copy and paste and duplicate commands can be found under the edit menu, but in this case, I will use the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl C for copy, Ctrl V for paste, and Ctrl D to duplicate. Here I'm duplicating the object in my work area, and you'll realize if the color object list was not open, you may not realize that the objects have been pasted several times until you take it to the embroidery machine. Copy and paste will give the same result of dropping pasted objects directly on top of one another. Let's now take a look at our settings in the Setup Options dialog. Under the Edit tab, we can determine how the objects are pasted and duplicated. Here I will set the properties so pasted objects start at the current stitch in the design and duplicated objects are offset from the original object by a nominated distance, in this case 3mm to the right and 3mm upward. Now I will go through the same exercise of duplicating and you will notice the offset, making it obvious that we have more than one object and the copy and paste will paste the new object at the current stitch in the previous object, which happened to be at the end of that shape. For more videos on Wilcom's Embroidery Studio 3.0, please visit www.stitchvault.com.